folks, takes the Black Pants Legion here, playing some Space Station 13. You probably hear some horrible clicking in the background. That is one of the fans on my computer. I have a replacement and service uh, coming up soon, so that will be hopefully fixed. I just hate it because it's very, very faint, but constant. So some people just hear it as white noise, but I hear it because it's on the other end of my desk. And that's driving me nuts. It is just driving me nuts. So one of my guys sent me a, showed me a screenshot showing that at like six something in the morning, um, somebody had posted that, you know, they were threatening to riot in cargo unless I showed up. <laughs> and then uh, the captain or CENTCOM was like, "You will you will be docked pay if you don't get moving." So that probably into that, uh, but I I just think it's funny. I do see some people share me little screenshots of people either imitating me or talking about me in the station. It makes my ears burn a little bit. I'm like, this is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. Yeah. So. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's just wait. Now, I, I had said something earlier about, um, well, I'd said a few things earlier, but I'd said something earlier about assistance and all that stuff and the gray tide, and I, I feel like I need to clarify a little bit. I don't hate that we have new people on the server. I don't hate fresh blood. I think I've said it a few times. Welcome to the station. The fresh blood is Enjoy good. your stay. Oh, God. We're on box station, aren't we? Shit, fuck. Yeah, shit, fuck, right. Been a while since I've been on box, but this is the station I remember for the longest time. I don't hate new people. Um, I just... I hate when you have a bigger channel that'll like dump on a community like this, and then you have shit tons of people show up who have no idea what they're doing and are just here to kill people because that's what they saw in the video. They're like, oh wow, this is a cool little PvP game. It's like, no, this is a paranoia game, which is still, I guess, a PvP, you know. Oh, and uh, Cuban Pete's here. How, how neat is that? How neat is that? I heard for a while they, they gibbed anyone who was named Cuban Pete that wasn't Cuban Pete, so I thought that was pretty awesome. They kept the person's seat warm for him, you know. You are who you are. Cuban Pete, for those of you who don't know him, was a legendary uh, antag. He made bombs that destroyed the station and crashed the server. He's the reason why they call bombs max cap, maximum capacity, because the server had to set a maximum capacity for bombs because of Cuban Pete or Cuban Pete style or inspired nonsense. Um, he did a lot of that. I mean, he really did a lot of that. The clown is on fire. The clown is on fire. All right. Uh, boss, what we doing today? I, I'm being, I'm being me. Attention, enemy commander. 
communication intercepted. Boss. Security level elevated. Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Sorry about that. Here, I'll just grab that because I tripped the man. That's my bad. Don't want to be rude in cargo. Uh, do, do we have a QM? Do we have a QM? Do we have a QM? I'm gonna get rid of this box so we don't have someone just doing solid snake memes the whole time. Not that that's terrible, but uh... QM, boss, hello? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Must have been my tinnitus from mules. They're dangerous, you know. And they bite so hard. Uh, was asking what we're doing today. No. Working in the cargo bay. Uh. Ah! No special directives or fun planned. Gotta ask that. Alright, I'm just gonna do my job. Imagination for fun times. Damn. So, a standard day in cargo then. If ever we have standard days, we can do lab coat day. Eh, I don't know. Had a securities jumpsuit. I'll be wearing that. found this jumpsuit so I, I'll be I'll be wearing it put the rest in the wardrobe for new people we got oh wait should get some of them fingerless gloves so I can cargo properly yeah found the head of security's jumpsuit now the thing is with cargo is you should always be able to look out for good loot Never know when you're gonna have some. Well, I'll just go ahead and have this. Time to fuck with the mule. Ba 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 ba. Yep. Maintenance panel is locked. Unlocked. All right. Then I get my screwdriver. Maintenance panel is open. All right. Radio crackle. Charge light. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Very carefully. This is that's where things get interesting. Sensors, sensors, turn on. 
Sensors Syndicate will kill you. See, there's an AI giving people good advice and shit. What, what are you doing? You stay out of cargo. You're not from here. I'm gonna go try to find some gloves. Wait, is somebody fucking with Beepski? I think they are. Are they? Yeah, they're the vacant, brain dead stare, eh? Well, I think I can have those gloves. You don't need them. And then they can go to the kitchen. Apparently I'm coughing now, so there's a uh, hold on. I'm coming. There you go. I got me some insulated gloves off a brain dead engineer. Stand in the hallway. I thought he was fucking with beef skip. Nope. Alright. Put that there. And then wire cutters. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba. Alright. And the fact. Something is wrong. I need a tool belt. That's what I need. Right, just making sure that's done. Mule butt. Something's good. Is, is this person brain dead too? No. They're not. Thank fuck. You don't want Atmos guys to be brain dead because that, that indicates bad times. When Atmos is brain dead, you got problems. I'll ask back to base, guys. Must be having a dust storm down there. But yeah, when Atmos is brain dead, you've got a problem. Wire cutters, blah blah blah. Wire cutters. See, look. Here's an assistant just getting all sorts of tools and stuff. Which is fine if they go around trying to learn their job and learn the station and so on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a hint. Uh, you're gonna look at maybe ninety percent of the people not doing that. Uh, you're gonna find most people actually just griefing the fuck out of the station breaking into places they shouldn't be as assistants because a lot of people don't play assistant well they don't understand that your job is to um, learn the job or so on they just kind of play as hobos of the station oh shooting some candy at me okay I like candy doing me a favor So yeah, is that shuttle even here? No. Fuck man. These are cum balls. Is that what he's trying to say instead of gum balls? Oh, well, whatever. Who have your internals on the ready? Okay. High velocity, man. Put on my uh, vest here, just in case I, uh, you know, need need to uh, need to show people that yes, I am obeying proper safety protocols. But yeah, most assistants don't do their job as assistant. They just well, they just grief the station repeatedly. It's just kind of what they do with their time on the station. 
Like, they're, they're these weird space hobo characters, I guess. Which would be fine if they had a personality, but most of them don't even roleplay. They just kind of do whatever. See, here I am. I'm trying to fucking fix our mules. Be more, you know, speedy for delivery. I'm trying to do some things. Maybe I might want to ride one a little bit to show off how cool I am, but... I'm not, I'm not trying to break anything. Hey. I'm, uh, I'm working on the mules because I want them to deliver faster. If that's okay, boss. I think we can corner the delivery market. Yeah, gotta go fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah you get it. Alright, I'm just trying to figure out why this thing is not doing its thing. Could be a little lag. My internet has been slow today. I had the wrong intent. That's my bad. Alright, let's uh, pulse these again. Alright. It's the second wire there. And do I cut one of the drive motors? It's been a while since I've hacked a mule. Get, if you kill that external, uh, the stupid security light thing, if you screw that up, um, it, like, it, it will just not stop for people. Which is hilarious if people just stand in the hallway or, like, fucking, blah, 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 my person's a cat person warlord who fought in the war of 2581, and then just <laughs> runs them right over. So, it's always fun. You can, um, you can absolutely ride these mules, I mean, like, this, once you've gotten that load thing ready, which is nice. Um, as for whether or not I made them faster, we'll find out. Uh, we will definitely find out. Okay, is someone going to call the shuttle? Because I'm going to go ahead and do that and act like the boss did it. Um, boy. <laughs> I'm going to go look for a tool belt. Well, I wonder. Can I make one? Well, which is fun. Someone in near maintenance departure. Alright. Thanks for the heads up. Alright. Helmet light. Don't let the monkeys bite you. Well, that sounds like a problem. That 
That sounds like monkey business. I know this is arrivals, not departures, but I am uh, I'm checking out the station. Reacquainting myself with box. Right. Oh, good toxins are in the air. God damn it. Ouch! My back! I must sue Nanotracin. That's how that works. Don't kill the monkeys. Oh, I'll kill the monkeys. You don't tell me what to do. You probably should tell me what to do. Can I sexually kill the monkeys? I, um, is there a tool belt? Oh yeah, hey, hey. Can I have that tool belt, please? Thank you kindly. Security's jumpsuit. Don't get bitten, or you'll get smitten by a silicons. It's not good. I'll just throw that box there. See, I'm doing my part. That's what I'm doing. Is this how much oxygen in this okay so you just gotta put together a uniform from what you find in the station I got two oxygen tanks oh you're on it cool Let's see if this works. Let's see. Bots access. Scan for active bots. What? No maintenance? Alright. Uh um. Which one is this? It doesn't even have names. What? Eh. Kim. Can you send the mule to the kitchen, please? One of them. I'm testing something. AI is roof. AI is something. AI is something. Something, something, AI, something. Nice, got me a katana. Oh, okay. Power is off, eh? That's nonsense. Ooh, spooky! Shit. Okay. Yeah, plasma seems to be what's going on. Well, there's a firefighter suit in the QM office. I could find my way in, perhaps, with tools. Dan, da, da, da. I got tools. Da, 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 da. Let's see anything I can do keep a watch out all right nothing 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 that one
unlocked it. Well then. That's cool. Alright, AI connection light is on. Oh, I may have fucked that. What is going on? So you can turn the speed on the doors up, which will just crush people. Okay, that's off and that's on. Good. Uh-huh. I'm the slowest hacker in this game. I know, I know, I know. It's been a while since I've hacked. Been watching that uh, guy do the uh, FTL 14 stuff, or not FTL, Space Station 14 stuff. I may have just fucked this up. Oh well. That's a speed light. Uh huh. Sparks! you do this in the hallways, people will freak out. That doesn't sound right. It's fine. It's fine. Randolph, please don't spark. Quiet, you. <laughs> yeah. But no, I was watching the guy do the FTL 14 stuff. It's going to be like a first person kind of 3D FTL. Or sorry, FTL Space Station. And it's a one man project. Like many of these projects probably do from the start. But it seems kind of interesting. So, uh, so uh, what? Can we be of service? I know nothing other than there's monkeys. Monkeys on the station. Monkeys which bite. And maybe then you turn into monkeys. And people are killing monkeys with plasma. I don't. I don't know what's up with the plasma. I guess somebody has decided plasma is good. You know, plasma. We. I'll fuck with that door later, if I have. Oh, there we go. Oh shit, plasma is everywhere. Now is not the time for smoke. Yeah, I would say now is probably not the time for smoke. Shit. Oxygen on. Oh. Oh no, the paperwork. It's gone out into the hallway. Maybe it's time to save the station through firefighting. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that a uh, 3D or first person space station 13 could work. I'm not sure that it could or it could not. Some people ask me, like, how long have you played Space Station 13? No, it's an on and off thing. I, I played Space Station 13 since... I want to say... 09? Maybe, uh, maybe 2010, but 09 is probably more accurate. Um, and it, once again, it was just like a what the fuck is this back then. I didn't start playing it regularly until about 2011. 
And even then, I, I tended to always play the um, role-playing roles, you know. I'm, I'm bartender, chef, uh, you know, minor here and there. But they do bring changes every so often. And if I take a little bit of a hiatus from the game, which a lot of people do, you come back and everything's unfamiliar. So there is that kind of relearning of everything you did. And it, uh, it takes time. Never been really big on Antag stuff, but I decided to try a lot more of it um, now that people have started watching this channel more than like a dozen. <laughs> still don't know what to think about that. I really don't. But I enjoy playing roles, and I enjoy playing all sorts of stuff. Um, wow, he's the one up. That's not good. We have a big plasma problem, and um, use heaters to lower the temperatures. Would they not be heaters then? I cut it three times, and it's still too short. Now it is. Door locked? Not likely. Crowbar. Door open. I'm gonna lock this airlock again. Oh shit. Okay, maybe. Maybe that is there for a reason. Let's just go ahead and close that. Bit of a fire. Okay. Attention. So, boys, we have a problem. Bit of a fire. Bit of a big fire. Okay? Big. Kind of huge. Coming. So, do not panic. Do not panic. Do not panic. Okay? It'll be okay, I'm sure. Maybe. Probably not. Uh, we should maybe, though, hide. Perhaps in the maintenance tunnels. Oh, the staff managed to contain the monkey infestation. Fire wins! Quit puking. Puking is gross. So, stop that. It's not nice. Fire versus monkeys. Monkeys lose. 